Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anjali Rogers, and I will be your MC for the evening. It is my great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to our Celebration of Learning 2010. Asha has, to this date, sent almost 400 children from some of the poorest and most deprived slum communities to Delhi University and other professional colleges. This is an unprecedented achievement in India's history. Tonight, we honor the success of the 170 students who have this year enrolled in higher education. We begin our program by welcoming our chief guests and other honored guests seated here on the dais. We are immensely privileged to have the Honorable Home Minister of India, Sri P. Chidambaram, as our chief guest today. I would like to invite Dr. Kiran Martin, founder and I invite the Honorable Home Minister and other guests seated on the dais to now perform the traditional ceremony of the lighting of the lamp. I would like to introduce the founder and director of Usha, Dr. Kiran Martin. Under her leadership, Usha has spent more than 22 years working in partnership with 400,000 people in slum communities. The ever-expanding range of initiatives it provides are enabling Delhi slum dwellers to take hold of their lives and transform them. It is Dr. Martin's core belief in the justice and love of God for all human beings that motivates her in her work. In 2002, the President of India awarded Dr. Martin the Padma Shri, one of India's highest civilian awards, for her achievement in the field of community service. Without Dr. Martin's vision for the higher education program, very few of these gifted young people would have left school with any guidance support or encouragement, and fewer still would have had the financial help they needed to enter higher education. <laughs> Dr. Martin, I invite you to give the first address of the evening as we begin to celebrate the remarkable achievements of these students. <laughs> Honorable Home Minister of India, Mr. P. Chidambaram, Mr. K. R. Kamath, His Excellency Mr. Peter Burgis, His Excellency Mr. Bob Heinz, Mr. Sandeep Ghosh, His Excellency Mr. Rupert Holborough, His Excellency Mr. Kenneth Thompson, Home Secretary of India Mr. Gopal Pillay, our distinguished overseas guests, ASHA board members, esteemed members of our audience, and dear children. Tonight, we are once again making history. This year, 170 students from our city's slums have performed the extraordinary feat of overcoming extreme poverty to be admitted to Delhi University and other highly reputed colleges. A higher education movement is gaining momentum in our slums as year upon year, more of our children are accessing it and in so doing, inspiring hundreds of young children who are looking up to these trailblazers and seeking to follow in their footsteps. <coughs> the UN estimates that the number of people in the world living in slums passed 1 billion in 2007. Here in New Delhi, India's capital, the slums represent over 30% of the city's population. The majority of residents work in the informal sector, which is characterized by job insecurity and low wages. As families struggle to survive, Many children are forced to work to supplement the family income. Just one in five boys and one in ten girls 
go to school. The option of higher education remains an expensive dream. When I first walked into Dr. Ambedkar's slum in 1988, it was in the grip of a cholera epidemic. With a borrowed table and a chair, I sat in an open space and treated hundreds of sick children. 22 years on, Asha works among 400,000 <laughs> slum inhabitants, focusing on programs that address health, education, environment, housing, and empowerment. We began with healthcare and environment programs, and then the 90s saw Asha engage in path-breaking work with the city's government to provide land titling to slum families. A remarkable transformation in living conditions began to happen. In January of 2008, the Honorable Mr. Chidambu, whom we are so privileged to have with us today, accepted my invitation to visit an Asha area. Subsequently, he drew together India's largest public sector banks, the Ministry of Finance and Asha, to establish a loan scheme for the urban poor that he launched in June of the same year. Since the launch, millions of rupees have been given in loans by the banks for various purposes and the repayment rate is an astonishing 99%. <clears throat> when banks opened their doors to the urban poor, I realized that higher education for slum children was no longer a distant dream. The 170 children seated here are a wonderful testament to what can be achieved through hard work and determination with help and support from friends who care. They have struggled against enormous odds, huge financial obstacles, the lack of space, the noise of the slum environment, power cuts for long hours, and absolutely no role models. Most of them are the first in their families, their entire villages or slums to go to university. Asha has focused on providing individual counselling to students during their final years of high school and guiding them through the entire college admission process. Asha then awards all Delhi University students with scholarships towards college tuition and other expenses and also facilitates access to bank loans for private colleges. Punjab National Bank has taken the lead in this regard and I am so pleased that Mr. Kamath is with us today. The opportunities for enhanced learning have been seized with great enthusiasm. Children who would have once been working in roadside stalls, shining shoes or picking rags, now have the confidence to attend university with much more privileged youngsters. After spending years longing for equality, they are finally experiencing it. The Asha model is an example of how cities can be places of inclusion and participation rather than exclusion and marginalization. A city cannot claim to be harmonious if large numbers of people cannot meet their basic needs while others live in opulence. A healthy life and great diligence. I thank you, sir. for your commitment to promoting the discourse and practice of higher education among the impoverished children of the slums. It is my hope that your blessings will always be available to me and my team as we seek to pursue our vision of helping 5,000 slum children to find a place in university in the next five years. Each of the people seated on the dais today are invaluable in their commitment to seeing Asha's higher education program prosper. They have strengthened my hands through their faithful partnerships and for this they have my sincere thanks and admiration. I would also like to thank our friends of Asha around the world for their continued generosity and support which we could not do without. Finally, to the ASHA students, I offer my warm congratulations 
on your extraordinary achievement. I wish you all the best for your university careers and every success in your lives ahead. Education is about learning, a love for intellectual inquiry, and developing confidence and leadership. It is my sincere hope that this journey we have begun together may yet reap the reward of thousands of others like you enjoying all that a university education has to offer. Thank you. Please join with me in welcoming Mahesh as he shares his experience with us. नमस्कार मैंने कभी स्कूल की किताबों में पढ़ा था कि कभी कुछ लोग मिट्टी से उठकर आकाश छू लेते हैं यकीन नहीं होता था मुड़कर देखता हूं तो ऐसा लगता है कि मेरे साथ भी ऐसा ही हो रहा है आशा संस्था व उसकी फाउंडर एवं डायरेक्टर पद्मश्री डॉक्टर किरण मार्टिन जी से जुड़े हुए मुझे लगभग दस साल हो गए हैं और इन्हीं सालों में मैंने एक साधारण सरकारी स्कूल से दिल्ली कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग तक का सफर तय किया है और इसी सफर की कहानी मैं आप लोगों के साथ बांटना चाहता हूं अंत में कविता के दो शब्द जिंदगी की असली उड़ान अभी बाकी है जिंदगी के कई इम्तिहान अभी बाकी हैं। अभी तो नापी है मुट्ठी भर जमीन हमने आगे सारा आसमान अभी बाकी है थैंक यू महेश वी आर नाउ प्लीज टू वेलकम आर गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर हिज एक्सलेंसी मिस्टर पीटर बर्गी द ऑस्ट्रेलियन हाई कमिश्नर टू इंडिया Having taken up his posting here as recently as August 2009, Mr. Burgess was previously High Commissioner to Malaysia and during his long and varied career has also spent time as the head of the International Division at the Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet in Canberra. Asha has enjoyed a strong relationship with the Australian High Commission for over 10 years. and since his appointment his excellency has been an ardent supporter of our work showing a particular interest in our higher education program he has visited the homes of a number of our students here tonight and has always shown great enthusiasm when listening to their stories and now your excellency mr burgi please do us the honor of addressing the audience here tonight Thank you very much uh, Anjali and uh, good evening to all of you to the honorable Peter Dumbrum the minister for home affairs to Dr Kieran Martin the founder and director of Asha to my fellow guests of honor on the dais uh, and to all members of the uh, Asha family um can i say firstly that every now and then uh in the life of a diplomat or in diplomacy uh, you are privileged to witness something which is not measured in the language of a communique 